I heard on NPR that the the real um, un, unspoken secret of the movie industry uh, that no one is really talking about because it's unspoken, it unspoken <laughs> uh, is that the the DVD market sales of DVDs right. is plummeting, yeah. and that you know we they're talking about box office receipts, which really only matter a, a small percentage in the overall profitability of a movie mm. and that so much of that in the last decade has been from DVD and now that is r disappearing and that's the real problem for movie studios and it's all it's all due to online well I'll tell you what it made me think of too and, and let me just say too I worked in a video store and I think mm. that those people that say oh now you can't go to the video store and talk to people and get recommendations talk? who did I think, that I think that's the most romantic idea of it's just because of Quentin Tarantino Kevin and Kevin, yeah, yeah it's like it's not yeah. it, it's it, that that I mean, it's a shame for that some of those people. Right. Yeah. Maybe or, the mom and pop right, stores. Right, right, right. I'd go into Arrow's and I'd be like, could you it, stop talking to me? And I, used to, I, I was a part of that. You know, I worked, at Sun, I worked at Suncoast and I used to recommend all the Kung, Kung Fu Coast. movies. and you know. But like, I think that was such a rarity anyway that I'm not sad that that's gone. I, I mean, it, it was nice, but... But I did love wandering around the, the store and staring at covers. Yeah. And, but I think that was a youth thing, because that was before skepticism, where I now would I just rent something based on the badass dragon on the cover. Yeah. Now I scroll I mean, Netflix that, that, online yeah. and, and scroll through covers. I mean, it's but, similar. But it really made me think of, and you guys have seen uh, this, which I can just give Mike the picture, right? Yeah. This. This uh, all my thing. I have a skin on my, my iPhone that has these VHS. This is my this yeah. is basically my shelf at home, and I, I would right. assume your guys' shelf where I had these VHS tapes filled with. And I, I remember the day where we, I thought tapes were just SP, and then I discovered yep. SLP, where I could <laughs> fit three movies in one tape. My dad was so far ahead of that curve. We we have a, a majestic VHS movie collection, and he was very. Uh, he used every second of those tapes and everything was very well. Where this, because back then they would air something on TV and it's like, well, I could own that. I could yeah. watch that whenever I wanted. Yeah. This is before, so you had to capture it in this horrible but I think, quality. I don't think, but, um, yeah. I, don't, now, I don't deal with media that way anymore. Exactly. No. Now you, know. you don't need to own something because it's all out there whenever you want yeah. to access it. You yeah. don't need to yeah. own it, you can yeah. just access it. Which and is you can take of, it in like bite size too. You don't have yeah. to go see the whole thing. You can go find that scene that you like and watch that. You know what I mean? Right. Right. It's interesting.